everybody, this is Coach Echoes. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a 10 gallon tomato frog enclosure with my friend, Five Star Reptiles, a hey. future YouTuber. Yep. So, when you're setting up a uh, tomato frog enclosure, you want to have a good humidity substrate. You guys who work with eGarth might understand what just happened here. I kind of spilled a little bit, or a lot, whatever you want to say. Okay, so I just added some eco earth, which is a really great substrate. I used the brick form so it would already be wet, but not so wet that mold might grow and nasty stuff like that. Tried to wring some of the water out. Okay, next I'm going to add some sphagnum moss. This is, uh, uh, this is organic sphagnum moss. It's always a good way to add humidity to a reptile cage. Just add a little bit in there and mix it in. It also makes the cage look pretty nice too. Painful. Okay, that should be good. This just aids in humidity, makes the tank look nice. And if you use sphagnum moss or any other type of moss that's kind of stringy like this, I recommend either tweezer feeding your tomato frog so he doesn't get any. Uh, of the of the moss in his mouth, or make closely monitoring your tomato frog eat. Okay, so now I'm gonna let my friend Five Star Reptiles come up and help me set up the cage. How about it? So we got this right here. You get a size water dish. You need to have a good size water dish for your tomato frog, because they like to bathe. Uh, plant cover is always good for a tomato frog cage because it gives them a good hiding place. And that's just a decorative ornament, gorilla. So now what we're going to create is an underground tunnel. We just kind of thought of this before we created the video start the video. Um, it's just we're going to get a cork flat and kind of half bury it under the eco earth and it'll look really awesome as you can tell. Make sure you use a under tank heater for your tomato frog because uh, it's a great way to give them heat. You could also use heat lamps but I, I prefer to use a uh, heat pad which I will put on after the video is over. I'll, uh, keep your tomato frog tank at about 85 degrees and make sure there's spots where they can get to the heating pad. Okay, um, that, it? that looks good. Okay, that's good. good. Oh, I'm going to put the hydrometer. Yeah. Okay, so that is how you set up a 10 gallon tomato frog cage. I'm going to spray it down real quick and then I'm going to give you a closer look at it. Keep the humidity in the tank at about um, 60 to 80% because they have come from Madagascar and Madagascar is a rainforest environment. So just got to make sure everything is nice and good. So get a good spray down. Okay, that should be good since it's Soil is already pretty moist. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you a close up in just a second. So, uh, see you in just a sec. This is the final product of the 10 gallon tomato frog enclosure build. And this is a great way to make your tomato frog very, a very happy little animal. There's Elmo right there. Looks pretty awesome in here. Looks nice and natural. And that, that plant really looks awesome as well as that gorilla right there and uh, I really like this idea this is actually a really great idea that you guys could try with your frogs and tomato frogs whatever you have just a great way to give provide them with a hide and under here sorry for the glare is the heat pad keeps them up at about 85 degrees takes up about half of the tank Yeah, make sure they have um, places to be warm and places to be cool. So cool side, warm side. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day.
This country echoes. I will see you later. Bye.